Hi, and welcome to Perfect Imperfections by Dior. I know that I look a mess, but today I've had um, kind of a rough day. Not rough like anything bad happened, but rough like I just don't feel like doing much. But I did cook today, and I used my air fryer for the first time, and I'm super excited to show you guys what I made. So watch the video so you can see everything that I made, and I know like I wore makeup yesterday, and that's why... I did wash my face, but sometimes when I wear mascara, for some reason, like the next day or a couple days later, it's like still falling on here, even though I only put mascara on my top lashes, but that's a whole nother story. Um, before we get started though, I do want to show you my beautiful uh, succulents that I need to repot very soon, but they're, they've been alive for like two years and I barely do anything to them and they're too big now, so they need to get repotted, but Here's one, look at it, it's blooming so well. And then here's the other one. Okay, she has little flowers. So anyways, um, I'll be repotting those soon, okay? All right, yeah, I'm using the air fryer for the first time and I've already started using it, but this is the chicken that I'm making. I'm about to flip it over. As you saw, the timer said I still have 15 minutes. And I've been cooking these for um, 15 minutes, then flip them over, then cook another 15 minutes or so. I'm about to flip these over. So I flipped them over. I sprayed a little bit of oil. As you can see, I have them spaced out so they're not touching. And I'm going to put this back in. And then it should start back at 15 minutes at the same temperature. And I'm going to let it finish cooking. Something I didn't show you guys today, but I made mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese. And I did use the Kraft uh, Deluxe macaroni and cheese box and of course I added some other ingredients and baked it. This is some of the chicken that I've already cooked. Now I know that it looks like it's burnt but it's actually not burnt and it is juicy and delicious. You might be saying to yourself, how do I know it's juicy and delicious, baby? <laughs> I've already tried it. I'm sorry I didn't feel me trying it. It was super delicious. I don't eat this part. I don't know who eats that part, but I don't eat this part. But yeah, I tried it already. Okay, sorry y'all. I only have two hands and I needed to get this chicken out. But in this pot, I have some uh, butter and lemon pepper seasoning. And I'm just basically, I melted it down and I'm tossing these in here. Just trying to get the coating on. And I will be making another flavor. That's going to be buffalo. But I'm going to show you how I make that sauce. It's actually my mom's recipe. I'm just coating these in here. And then I'll let them sit in here for a little bit. But not too long. Because I want it to stay a little crispy. But don't they look good already? I don't know if you guys remember this package that I got from... Um, the 99 cent store of green beans but we're gonna put these in the air fryer as well I'm only gonna use about half of the bag so I got about half here I just rinsed it I'm gonna pat it dry and then I'm gonna remove extras like this and then I don't really care about the brown spots but if you care you can cut that off and then just you know get rid of anything that doesn't really belong there all right the green beans are washed and trimmed and patted dry and now I'm just going to spray them. I have this olive oil spray. I'm just going to spray them with some olive oil. And you could drizzle some if you have some. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Not a lot. I'm going to add a little bit of ground ginger. Just a little touch. And then I'm also going to add some minced garlic. Okay. And then I'll add a touch of salt. A dash of onion powder. And a dash of garlic powder. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this all together 
and then I'll just let it rest here for a minute and once my chicken is done in the fryer the air fryer then I'm gonna put this in there okay so while we're waiting I am going to uh, start this fryer for the green beans I think I'm gonna cook it for about seven minutes on 370 and I'm not even going to clean it out I'm gonna leave it just as it is and just throw them in here this is from the chicken I just cooked okay so in this small pan I have some unsalted butter that I've uh, cut some from the block and I'm melting it down for this sauce, all I'm going to need is this Frank's Red Hot Sauce Original and some sugar, okay? I use uh, white sugar. You can use any sugar that you want, but we're literally just going to mix it in. Now, how much sugar you use is totally up to you. Um, and, of course, I will say do a little bit at a time. So, now I'm just going to add the hot sauce. And you use how much you need. I did get this from the 99 cent store. So this little bottle, uh, 5 ounce, 5 fluid ounce was a dollar. Now I'm going to add some sugar. And again, just um, start off with a little bit because you want to do it to your liking. What the sugar is going to do is actually thicken up your sauce and make it sticky. And it will darken it as well as sweeten it up. So if you have people, some people who like it really hot, you want to barely put any sugar in. And if you have people who like it sweeter, you can add more sugar and just adjust it as you need to. You don't want to have the temperature up too high because you don't want it to burn. But you do want it to cook a little bit. So just watch it. Don't leave it. And once it's the consistency and the flavor that you want, then you just take it off the heat, turn it off. But right now, it is a little runny because it has mostly hot sauce and butter. I am going to add a little bit more sugar, but not too much. So I just turned the heat off. It's still hot. And since the chicken that I made that I want to put in this particular pot has been sitting for a little bit, it's not cold, but it has cooled down. I'm going to just add it straight into here. Um, while it's really hot and I'm just doing a little bit at a time because I'm not about to eat all of it right now and I'm just going to get it coated and I'm actually just going to sit it here for a minute and kind of let the sauce cool down around it and let the chicken chill out in the sauce Okay, y'all, so I made the food. I'm about to sit outside and enjoy this food. But first, you know, sometimes you just gotta let your hair down. <laughs> let your hair down, be free, be relaxed. Take your bra off if you if you wear a bra. Some of y'all don't. Um, I also want to show you something else that I picked up from the store recently, which is this uh, 21 and over in the state of California, okay? 21 and over only all right so but light orange this is made from orange peels it says but i got this to eat with my chicken and my macaroni and my green beans so here's my plate got a little bit of everything i put some um parmesan on the lemon pepper chicken wings and that's the hot wing and this is the mac and cheese and the string beans and then of course this little beauty here mm-hmm I know you guys want to see me try it, so I'm going to try it. Let's start with the mac and cheese, okay? Baked mac and cheese using the Kraft Deluxe uh, mac and cheese box. I'm always dropping something when I'm trying to talk to you guys and eat. So I did drop a noodle, but I'll pick that up. I'll pick that up, don't worry. Just green bean cooked in the air fryer. Not crispy, but it tastes delicious. Now, let's take a sip. I'm staying home. I'm not going anywhere today, so drink responsibly, y'all. I really taste the orange. 
I actually like it because I don't like beer. And that's a really light beer flavor. And it has a really, to me, strong orange flavor, which makes it taste good to me. So I'm good with that. Mm, this chicken is about to be hard to eat. Holding the phone and trying to not spill it. <sighs> okay, anyways. Let me try to do it fast. So here is the spicy one. Delicious, not too sweet, sticky. Um, I like the flavor. My mama's recipe. <laughs> I don't know where she got it from, but I got it from her, so that's my mama's recipe. The lemon pepper. Basically, I changed up the seasoning that I used for the chicken when I made this one, and then I just added um, butter and lemon pepper seasoning. The Dollar Tree has lemon pepper seasoning right now, too, in case you need to pick some up. But yeah. Mm. I think next time I need to get a zester because I would love to add some lemon zest to this. I think it would bring it up a couple notches. If you guys know of a good zester, Send me a comment below and let me know or send me a link or something so I can order it. But um, I think I need a zester. I think it's time for one. Anyways, you guys have been awesome as usual. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. Comment if you have questions, if you want to say something, if you know about a good zester. Or if you want me to make something else and you have a question or you want me to show you another uh, video of how I actually made the chicken step by step. So how I seasoned it and everything. Let me know. If I get... 100 likes if i hit 100 likes i'll do it now that means i right now i have 84 subscribers so that means each one of you have to hit like plus i gotta get a couple more people to subscribe share like the video <laughs> to hit 100 but it could be done with your help so anyways thank you and i will wave to you guys but my hands are dirty unless you like that bye <laughs> treat yourself have a good day bye